Well, I'm going to be starting a new series of videos here. Uh, what I'm going to be doing, obviously, here is a brake job on the uh, front end of my uh, 77C10. And the problem I'm having right now is I've got a brake caliper that's sticking. I should be able to come in here and turn this rotor, uh, and it's not working. So let me go to the other side and uh, show you what it should be like. All right, here's the driver's side uh, rotor and caliper assembly. And as you can see here, I can turn this rather easily. There is a little drag, and there's supposed to be just a little bit of uh, drag on the brake pads, but you should be able to spin this. So uh, basically what I'm going to do uh, on both sides, I'm actually just going to come in here and change the calipers. All right, I brought you back over here to the passenger side that I'm going to be starting on first. And like I said, I'm, I'm just going to replace the calipers. I'm actually going to do the calipers uh, and uh, the rubber brake lines. These are a little bit dried out and uh, they're fairly inexpensive and uh, it's just a good measure to uh, do those as well. However, my rotor is in good shape. In fact, I think it's relatively new. I mean, it still has this kind of a sticker thing on here. The thickness is excellent. I can, I'll, I'll take these in and have these uh, turned down. Um, and then you, I'll come in here, try to get out of the shadow. And you can see we got tons of uh, braking material left on the pads. So it's hard for me to see. Oh, yeah, we got tons on the inner pad as well. So basically, our only problem is the caliper and the caliper sticking. So um, helps me out a lot, saves me some money. I don't have to buy brake pads, and I certainly don't have to buy rotors. Rotors are expensive, but it's. I will take these in and have these uh, turned. And so, but I'm going to be coming in here, at least on this job, I'm just going to replace uh, the calipers, the uh, rubber uh, brake lines, and I think I'll come in here and I'll probably redo uh, the wheel bearings as well. Uh, I'll at least check those out since I got to take that all off to get the rotor off. Uh, so I'll inspect those as well, but I'll probably end up. Uh, changing the bearings and uh, certainly packing everything. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get started on the work. All right, so here you are looking at the back side of the caliper and the first order of business is to come in here and remove uh, these bolts. These bolts are, uh, they slide through the uh, spindle. So this is a floating caliper so it can move back and forth. And what you, what you do is you come in here and you take a 3 8 inch uh, Allen wrench and you just stick it in there and it's the same old lefty loosey righty tighty and you do get choices like I said use a 3 8 inch uh, Allen wrench or if you got one of these little socket tools with the Allen head on it you can use those as well okay the first order of business we gotta do is come in here and uh, loosen these bolts there's two of them there's one up here they bolt the caliper uh, to the spindle. There's one up here and there's another one right down here on the inside. So we got to come in here and loosen these up and they're actually only threaded uh, up here into uh, the spindle. There's no threads out here at the end. This is just a retainer effectively to keep it in place. So they're only threaded uh, about three quarters of an inch of thread that uh, is threaded into the spindle. So we got to come in here Put our. Uh, I like to start with the uh, the actual Allen wrench. You come in here with a hammer just to break it loose. So now the top one is loose. Come down here, do the exact same thing to the bottom one. Oh, that one! I didn't even need to put the hammer on it. So now that one's loose, and I'm going to come in here with my ratchet and my little allen head tool and uh, stick it on there and uh, twist those out of there. And if you've never done this before and uh, well then you are probably watching this video but here's uh, one of the bolts and like I said they're only threaded at the top end close up to the head and they're only threaded about three quarters of an inch. This threads into the spindle not into the caliper. Okay so I, I have both uh, retaining bolts out, slide bolts 
And since this caliper is sticking, like I said, I can't, I can't spin the, uh, the rotor. That's going to make it a little tricky to get this caliper off. Usually, if it's not sticking, it just kind of slides right off. It's not a big deal. But if it's sticking, uh, you can lightly tap it with a hammer, or you can come in with some kind of a pry bar and use that uh, to get it out of there. And you can pry right against the base of the rotor here. Kind of do it on both sides, and it just kind of pops right off. Get up here, and there we go. One of the pads fell out. That's fine. We'll get the other pad out of there. And there we go. We got our uh, our uh, caliper off. We'll just kind of set it in place for now, and then we'll work on getting a uh, brake line off of there.